Yeah. Didn't Darkhawk show up in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness or one of Dark Black Hawk? Bolt? Oh, Black Bolt himself. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. because he has like. They shut his mouth so his, so his head blew out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like weirdly like dark for Marvel. Like what the frick? Well, Sam Raimi is normally a horror uh, movie person. Okay. He's a horror movie director. Um, wait, the so, Raimi fi- Wait, isn't that Spider-Man? Yep. The, this is the, so that was <laughs> yeah. a cool thing with, with um, Multiverse <laughs> of Madness where it was the first superhero film that he's done since Spider-Man. Oh, Because okay. after Spider-Man 3 came out, everyone hated that one. So uh, he was like, I'm never doing that again. They were like, Dr. Strange. He was like, okay. okay. <laughs> we <laughs> want ice cream. We <laughs> love ice cream. We really love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome. You've come from a land of boredom, seeking respite. You've come to the right place. The key you seek is near. Now, brace yourselves. Your treasure awaits. Hmm. And these boys' journeys have just begun. We need to be put in check, whatever form that takes on game. If we can't accept limitations, we're boundaryless. We're no better than the bad guys. Tony, if someone dies on your watch, you don't give up. Who said we're giving up? We are for not taking responsibility for our actions. Thwip, thwip. Wow, what a lovely day in New York. Thwip, thwip, mm. thwip. Wait, who's praying at that church over there? <laughs> Wait, it's my friend Grant. Dear Heavenly Father. Oh, he's my spider hearing. My name is Venom. <gasps> D. Brown. Oh, yo, what? Please. Kill Peter Parker. Oh my gosh. Murder him. Put bamboo between his nails. Oh my gosh. If, if you could even just like drop a comedically timed anvil on his head. I look up, it's storm clouds start like growing in. Oh no, I'm Catholic and this, this is gonna <laughs> happen. Thwip, thwip. Thwip, thwip. And then I accidentally, as I like jump off the roof, you see me for like two seconds. <gasps> oh my god! Help! <laughs> no! <laughs> ah! And then I get him, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> then lightning strikes me, and then I wake up in a room, and God says, "Review, talk about Spider Man." And then you're here. Hey guys, Yo welcome! Guys, welcome to, to Spider-Man Spider-Man Man Talk. Month. Woo! Spider Man Month. Hey man, hey man, look, man. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember when Eddie Brock uh, asked Jesus Christ to kill Peter Parker? That's so unhinged. Do you remember what, like, specifically, like... By the way, guys, I'm Jacob, and this is Grant. Yes, welcome to the Velvet Room. The Velvet Room. The Velvet Room. We're here. And uh, so, like, what did Peter Parker do to Eddie Brock? He took Mary Jane from him? Was that it? Uh Oh, no. Well, it started... So, our boy, Peter Parker, he got yeah. the black suit. And this made him a little antsy in the pantsy, you know? Yeah, yep. So he started being a little rude to Mary Jane. He called her a bitch. You know, he started dancing with uh, what we find out later to be Gwen Stacy mm, uh, mm-hmm. at, at a club. And she's like, what the hell? Uh, and then Peter Parker goes to work the next... Uh, actually, no, yeah. we're forgetting the most important part. Yeah, yeah. He goes to his apartment. Uh, he's like, what? And then his boss is like, what are you going to give me my rent money? And, he, yeah. and he's like, I'm uh, not until you fix the door, please. Yep. And, uh, and that one daughter shows up. Who yes. Later, the director confirmed that's Felicia, Black Cat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was gaslighting the audience. <laughs> I was joking. Like, whoa, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> the power of a YouTuber where you just say, like, one little random fact. Like, yeah. So someone's like, no, really? She was Felicia. <laughs> yeah, it's I heard, Felicia. I heard it on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, I still have to do the DLC for the Spider Man video game. Yo, oh, that, yo, yeah, there I you go. Play dude, that. Dude, yo. Bro, more content. Let's go. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, but, guys, uh, yes. S- what we are. Wait, why did. Uh, well, basically, yeah. uh, he, she's like, would you like some cookies? And, and he's like, I would prefer cookies with nuts in them. <laughs> <laughs> guys, watch episode 15. Guys. <laughs> yeah, 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 with with <laughs> go me some cookies with nuts on. And then afterwards, Eddie Brock <laughs> sees us and he's like, Wait, really? So Eddie Brock's like, he's a jerk to his... his uh, no, no, no. He, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. the, and then, then, stuff. Uh, yeah. they, they both work at the Daily Bugle. Peter goes to the Daily Bugle. Uh, Eddie yeah. Brock faked pictures of Spider-Man to get paid. 
And then he was like, you're a fraud. And then he like picks him up and slams him against a wall. You're a fraud, but they were legit pictures of Spider-Man. They were bro. legitimate pictures of Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. They just like, he just like toned down the color to make it look like he was black, I guess. Oh, okay, okay. The, the suit. The suit, yeah. <laughs> the suit. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But guys, we're here to talk about everything Spider-Man. So for Every the, single thing. Yes. For those of you who are unaware, we usually do a general talk where we just kind of like talk randomly. Yep. Then we have several videos planned for you this month. We have... The, should we announce it or do we like suspenseful? No, we, we, we can just announce it so, that, so they can watch them right now. He, yeah, right here. here. Right here. Yeah, yeah, actually, actually, the eye is here and then. Right over there. Yeah, anyway. Yes. Uh, but guys, we're going to be uh, reviewing the Raimi film. Wait. Yeah, I'm like yeah, with yeah. the Doctor Strange guy. What? What? The Raimi films. <laughs> the movie <laughs> Doctor Strange. What? Uh, Amazing Spider Man, the Andrew Garfield ones, and then yep. the Tom Holland ones. Which, guys, I have a confession. I've seen all the movies other than the last half of Far From Home. Far From Home, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I saw the twist. Ooh, yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get to that the, later. Dude, yeah. Ooh, Mysterious evil. <laughs> Dude, Mysterious like, hey, Tom Holland, I have no bad sides to me. You should really like, oh, we're going to get to it later. <laughs> but, like, all right, uh, cool. <laughs> yo. Yeah, but, yeah. So, all right, Spider-Man. All right, so for those unfamiliar with the hero. <laughs> unfamiliar with. Uh, uh, here, I, I, I think right. there's, there's, there's yeah. a list. Like, hang on. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk about how we grew up with Spider-Man. Sure, yeah. In the meantime, oh, I'm going to look a list. Up a list. There, there's oh, like. Okay. Um, top. Okay. So like, for example, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's say I had a picture, a piece of paper yep. and of like five different characters. What do you think the five most popular characters in the entire world are? Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, Goku, Mario, Pikachu. Get rid of okay. Goku, put Pikachu in there. Pikachu, Mario. Okay. Okay. Yep, I'm, yep. I'm going to look up the list because I know for a fact Spider-Man's on there. Yep. Yep. I'm pretty, I think if I'm not mistaken, number one's like Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah it, Take it, out Mario, like, Mickey Mouse. Everyone, I think Pikachu's more popular than Mario. Yeah, it's like yeah. Mickey Mouse, Pikachu, Spider-Man, and then two others. Dang, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, for those of you unfamiliar, Spider-Man is mostly, he's like, he's in New York. Uh, usually he, uh, you know, he, he came from comics, obviously. I think Stan Lee probably made him or something. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, usually Peter Parker, I always feel like the plus sides to him is... He's like, you know, a college kid or a kid that's usually a teenager's age or whatever. Uh, so he's pretty relatable in that sense. He's super smart, which I, people, that's underrated. He, he knows how to do some science stuff. Like He knows what's up. Yeah, he knows what's up. Uh, then third, usually, uh, okay, I know more about Batman and Spider-Man. I don't know anything else. Like, I was going to say, he doesn't kill, but I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I freaking uh, the canon event, the meme, is his uncle usually dies and it's with great power comes great responsibility, Peter. The Peter, please. Yeah. The the, the iconic yep. part. By the way, just so yep. I don't forget it, it's Mickey Mouse, Darth Vader. Oh, whoa. Huh. Batman. Yep. Spider Man, Pikachu. Wow, okay. Those are the top five most recognized characters. So someone I, will see Superman and not recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> or like right, get a right. less chance to recognize him. Yeah, no, like, yeah, like if I went into like the middle of India and, and I held up a picture of of Spider-Man and Superman, they'd be like, Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. What, what do you find, what make, draws you to Spider-Man or Peter? Like why, what makes you pick up a Spider-Man comic yeah. versus like a freaking Wolverine so, comic? Let know. me actually go back to the origin. Of, uh, of our Spidey friend here. I think I've mentioned this story to you before, but a story that I find quite Probably, interesting uh, yeah. is um, Amazing Fantasy number 15 is the uh. first issue that Spider-Man was ever in. Amazing Fantasy was a comic series uh, that was dying out. So basically, uh, very similar to how uh, uh, manga works in, in Japan, mm. um, I, I think anyway. Yeah. Uh, so basically, you'll have a series, someone comes up and they're like, I have this fantastic idea. It's called The Baloney Man. Uh, they come out with a couple of issues. If no one reads it, it gets shut down. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, so basically, Amazing Fantasy was coming out. They had it coming out for a few months. Uh, it started off strong, but eventually people just didn't care about it whatsoever. So at the very end, the way that it works is basically they say, okay, the final issue is going to be number 15. So do whatever you want with it. It's a throwaway issue. No one's going to read it. So a lot of these strict guidelines are no longer in place. Mm. Spider-Man, uh, created by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko, uh, was originally um, pushed out there to be a starring character in his own comic. But, quote-unquote, 
the uh, the lead manager of Marvel Comics at the time uh, said that no one wants to deal with a teenager and their problems. <laughs> so <laughs> basically, they only wanted heroes that were adults. Um, so that way mm. it's like kids can look up to him or whatever. Yeah. Um, but with Spider-Man, it was shut down. They didn't like the idea. So as uh, Amazing Fantasy 15 was a throwaway comic, uh, Stan Lee was basically like, all right, I'm going to put him in just for this once. That comic blows up in sales. Burn. And then immediately after that, they're like, oh, this Spider-Man idea is crazy. So <laughs> then, yeah. then they started to throw a whole bunch of stuff out there. Uh, and, and that speaks a, a lot to to me and why I um, mm. not, not necessarily relate. Why I, why I really enjoy the character itself is it is because it is a kid with problems. It's mm. not yeah. uh, out of reach. It's probably the most like down to earth yep. superhero. The guy can't pay rent. Yeah. Uh, he's constantly got girl issues. No matter what point you are in life, there's always some little bit of relatability to it. Yep. Um, and Agreed. it's just the the personality has always been there. So yeah, the reason I'm, that yeah. I pick it up is for that personality. Yeah, yeah. And I'm always like a DC head. And then I, Batman, he's like, my parents died. I'm like, not relatable. And then like Nightwing's <laughs> like, I need to be better than Batman. I'm like, also not relatable. Yeah. yeah. So like and Spider-Man, like when I was playing the PS4 game, I, I was like there with him. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and, like, yeah. There, there are moments like that where um, like in the PS4 game, when you get evicted and you can't go back to your par- apartment anymore, <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, I, I legitimately cannot go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, by the way, Steve Dick, was he the drawer and Stan Lee's a writer? Who's a writer? Is uh, Stan Lee the, a yeah, writer? Yeah. Okay. The, they both yeah. made the characters, but. Yeah. I feel like I've seen Stan Lee drawing. Does he draw? Yeah, they both draw. Um, it, yeah. It, it depends. Um, there's yeah. also Jack Kirby. He did a lot with it. Oh, yeah. Um, but, the Kirby yeah. crackle with Marvel Snap. Dude. Anyway, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah. All right, this is like advanced D Stan Lee lore. Yep. Did he become? I feel like he just became straight up a writer for some reason. Yeah, yeah. I don't I, know I, why though. After a while, he doesn't really draw anymore unless it's like a little doodle for a fan okay. or something like that. Is he kind of like a Kira Toriyama where he's like, do this, and then they're like, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. But like, like, there's a whole um, <laughs> Excelsior. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, dude, uh, like <laughs> two years ago. Uh, he, he literally became like just the cameo guy, yeah, yeah. you know, where he pops up and someone's it's like, yo, fr- friggin' it became such a big thing mm-hmm. that he popped up in like Teen Titans Go. Oh, yeah. Just because it's such a meme. It's like, well, we got to have Stan Lee in. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, about two years ago, uh, there was a big thing where it was like, <laughs> Stan Lee uh, writes a book. Um, and it was like a Marvel-ish book. Okay, uh, but yeah. But it, it was on Audible. So uh, I got the book and I was listening to it, and then I realized going into it was a spider. Spider Man, (laughs) Spider Man. Wait, (laughs) 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 um, uh, I I, I, Uh, Stanley was uh, writing a book about Marvel ish things or something. So there was this like Marvel s kind of book, um, and basically come to find out he didn't write the thing it was sort of just like he stood in a corner and he was like this i this is a good idea look at this and they were like that is a good idea dang writers write that down dude yeah <laughs> and dude when he died and they made an nfts about dude yeah him. oh my god yeah, so that's, dumb bro his instagram account is still going with stuff like that it's the most like disrespectful dude, thing yeah. i i stopped following it because i was like i get so mad every time i see yeah, that yeah that's so just dumb like, like look at the new hit movie coming out and i'm yeah. like Homie's rolling in his grave. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Jeez, man. <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, okay. This is. Uh, I was gonna say. Okay, this is a good question. Who's yeah. your favorite uh, part of Spider-Man's rogue gallery? Like, who's your favorite villain? Venom. Venom. Yeah. yeah. Venom. 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 Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Eminem's favorite villain. I <laughs> uh, wanna like say why I guess even though everyone probably also likes Venom. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, I liked Venom before it was cool. Yo. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I I was getting all the toys when Spider-Man Three came out. Hmm. Uh, I was getting every single one. I still to this day have a very rare figure, where it's a black symbiote Spider-Man with like Venom crawling over him. Very cool indeed. Yeah. Um. I, I just like him overall because he's, cool. he's not necessarily. I hate his portrayal in three. Okay, I just yep. like the character because uh, I played yeah. a game on the GameCube called Ultimate Spider-Man, and in that one you played as Venom, and I just thought that that was oh. like the coolest thing ever. Dude, it's far into coming October. Please, please, Venom. <laughs> please, that back. <laughs> yeah, guys, yeah. nineteen inches of Venom coming soon. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Venom. That's pretty cool. And then uh, 
I think it is cool how it's Eddie Brock, like they're friends, kind of. Yeah. I guess they do have that with uh, Green Goblin Jr. or whatever the frick that guy's Harry. Oh, that's Os- right. Yeah, Harry Osborn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. But I don't know. I I like that. Yeah. Now uh, I will say there are different. I mean, there's so many different yeah. types. There's a million, a million and a half different Spider Men and Venoms yeah. and so Goblins and all that. Is Venom always a symbiote from space? Uh, no. Sometimes it's in a lab. Uh, like I believe, okay. like, like in um, Spider Man PS4, it, it was made in a lab. Oh yeah, and then it's not mm-hmm. always necessary. Well, I, you know, whatever. I, other than Spider, okay. Well, that threw. Off. I yeah, don't yeah. know the answer <laughs> to this now. But yeah, is yeah. it always in fact Peter Parker? Like usually, it, inevitably that that would be a canon event. Really, a, as we like would it, say. Yeah. sometimes they. I figured like sometimes they don't even have it. In, I guess. Yeah. Well, sometimes yeah. the the order is swapped like we see yeah. in the movies that have come out mostly for legal reasons is why it happened but yep. sometimes in the comics it'll go to eddie brock first uh and as seen in the comics that's why he doesn't have the spider on his chest uh, oh. but there's always a connection between the two yeah uh, because huh. for different reasons for the alien version it's uh, i forget how it's explained but when he's created it in a lab, yep. um, Spider-Man's DNA, I guess a bit of a spoiler if they explain it in the PS5 version. I don't know if they do. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, yeah. They use Peter Parker's DNA to make part of it. Yeah. So it, it's sort of like a father-son thing, weirdly yeah, enough. Yeah, that's kind of, that's creepy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's that creepy element to Yeah, it. and whenever I think about that, it kind of gives me like, a, I guess, a power fantasy kind of like, dude, what if I was... Dude, yeah, video, it, you know, like, yeah. And th- th- that's sort of, sort of another reason that I, I just love the, the Venom thing, too, is, is it's just, like, the, the infinite possibilities of, like, what you could do with it. It's basically just yeah. a large meat shield that you <laughs> yeah, can yeah. swing around and do whatever. Yeah. Sort of like the Jake uh, the Jake armor from Adventure Time, where he hops inside of Jake and yeah, just, like, yeah. walks around. It's like a power shield. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you just, like... You could hypothetically just walk forward in your like tendrils, do all the work. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Yep. Uh, well, what would your favorite rogues work be? Yeah, so you're talking about Venom, and I was thinking about it, and honestly, I was kind of sur- surprised where I came up to, or the villain I came up with. I think it's Doctor Octopus, honestly. Ooh, okay. Because like, I, I honestly, guys, I forgot Spider-Man Two, the Raimi film. It's not even from that. It's probably the, like the PS4, and maybe Far From Home. Wait, not Far From Home. The freaking No Way Home. Yeah, uh, because like I do like how I think it's interesting how the tentacles take over him. Yeah, like yeah. it's kind of weird how like they are evil <laughs> inherently. <laughs> like Dude, it's yeah, like yeah, what? Yeah. And like the PS4 Spider Man, like you really like grow a relationship, and then he turns out to be the final boss, and it's really well done. Dude, it's such yeah. an emotional scene where where you're just like punching him on the side of the building yeah dude oh, so dude, that spider armor is so sick too, oh dude that, that's some good stuff dude right yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 and i just uh and then seeing him in no way home just a way and also the ps4 it's just a way the claws move across the, like new york because he's just like <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> yep, he's like yep. not really doing anything he's, he's just, just doing like a ragdoll ha <laughs> ha why Spider-Man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've arrived. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, yeah, so I like Dr. Octopus. Now, what rogue gallery villain do you think you could take on? Oh, oh that I could personally take yeah. on? Uh, Shocker. I think that's, Yo, that's I was the thinking go-to. Shocker, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You just have to dodge <laughs> his, like, beams, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, um, I, I love how in that uh, that shitty fan film that someone made, mm. uh, they were like, he shoots out electricity. I'm like, no, he doesn't. Since when has he ever shot a electric beam? Like, like no, no, he doesn't do that. Yeah, it, yeah. It's just like large pulses of of energy. They're shock waves. Yeah, yeah. So you know, he's uh, you get up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, a thing about the Rose Gallery for Spider Man. I've been reading Batman, I'm, uh, and I've noticed Spider Man. It's more like not supernatural, I guess, but like superpowers. Mm. And Batman's like techy kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's kind of fun. I don't know. Like, that's what I love so much about all the different types of villains is that at the end of the day, it, it's like, okay, could Thor come in and one shot one of the villains? Yeah. Yeah. But that's not fun. You no, know? Yeah. I, I, I like seeing the, the day to day struggle yeah. with these sorts of guys. Like, I don't remember a lot of the Thor villains or the Hulk villains nearly as well. Yeah. As I do, like Doc Ock, Green Goblin. Yeah, I you don't remember Leader? All, I'm the, yeah, <laughs> the, uh, hit series Leader. <laughs> it's incredible. Hulk's like freaking evil guy. Abomination. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um. Yeah, but yeah. To that point as well. Uh, I forgot I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Yeah. I don't. Know, uh, just keep. 
you remember what he's saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> well, Sorry. Uh, overall, I, I just like how, like, let, let's say, for example, the PS4 dot gog. Yeah. Uh, like, with that one, it's just a guy in his lab. You're working with him. You see the inspiration. Yep. It's not some, like, I, I want to take over the world yeah. or anything like that. You see the, the progression of how it... Yeah, there, um, yeah, there's how he hints. gets aggravated over time, yep. how he gets to his breaking point, and stories like that are just told so well. Yeah, uh, where in you know other like a Superman villain might just be like, um, well, I, I don't know, I, I haven't read too many Superman comics, Pixel like or whatever his name is. Right? Yeah, yeah, wow. where, where it's, it's just like like oh, it's, it's a power fantasy, or it's like oh, there it's already this person that's that has all this power, or they're already like a, a government leader or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Which makes sense because you have to, you know, match the power levels a little bit. Yep. So that's just why it makes a lot more sense with, with Peter Parker to have these yeah, uh, yeah. more down-to-earth villains. Like, an experiment yeah. went wrong with, with Lizard. Um, that's why, yep. you know, villains like Venom, when it does become like, oh, it's an extraterrestrial thing, mm-hmm. now it's a big threat. Yeah, That's yeah. what makes those a lot more intense. Yeah, and I get a feeling that Kraven the Hunter is going to grow on me, and he's just a dude yeah. that, he's like, I want to hunt the ultimate prey, and he thinks it's Spider-Man. That's kind of cool. It's yeah. like, you, these are like the ultimate hunter hunting Spider-Man. Like, dude. what? Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, like, I, yeah. Oh, I love that so much. It's like from his apartment, <clears throat> he was here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I gotta look up the name of the family. Okay, um, yeah. Here, and, you're making your point. And guys, Grant was bashing on <laughs> DC Superman. That's why Lex Luthor is a cool villain of Superman because he's just a dude. That's it. <laughs> That's True, what I was right, gonna say. right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I was thinking like, like, oh, is there like a, a oh, purple yeah, literally, alien three? Yeah, I learned said <laughs> Mr. Pixelic or what? I'm Oh, that, that actually name. is like... But it's a, a oh, guy yeah. who like teleports and he's like the mask, basically. Yeah. Like yeah. he can do whatever the frick he wants. Huh. He's like the god of chaos. <laughs> like literally a god. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, holy crap. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I believe the family is called... Yes. The Inheritors. Um, so this is one... This is a Spider-Man villain that has like never... Uh, been, been adapted into live action or games or anything like that. Dang. The main one is called Morloon, and it's a vampire family. And literally, their whole thing Dang. I read like one comic about it. It's like the darkest that Spider Man ever gets. Um, their whole goal is just like, uh, like they just eat bug like creatures. So they're like, that's a legendary bug like creature. And so the, their whole goal is just kill them. Oh my god! And they have like the strength of like ten gods, bro. <laughs> so dang. fighting them becomes like holy. Crap. Dude, a spider isn't even a bug. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> it's an arachnid. <laughs> you are yeah. incorrect. Is they're like throwing a bus at them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so uh, yeah. also I got another question. Of all the, I believe there's only three really love interests for Spider-Man. Yes. Which one's your favorite? There's Dude. Mary Jane, Gwen, and then Felicia Black Cat, which I think is. Not really introduced to the movie watchers. I think it's more comics, yeah. you know, and, and Dude, the game. Yeah. You, I, I got a feeling you're gonna after you play the DLC, you're gonna like Black Cat because that was yeah, everyone's yeah. vibe after really? playing the DLC. Okay, yeah, yeah. they're like he needs a mirror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope it yeah, yeah. Well, let's just say there, there's uh, there's some drama that goes down where, where he's like we we did we did what? I don't I don't recall doing that. And uh, really, yeah, wow. Yeah, let's okay. just say, do you want me to reveal the tiny reveal? It's not like a big story. They reveal. banged. Yeah, yeah, they banged, and she and she's like, "I have a son." He's like, "Am I the father?" Whoa, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. dang. Yeah, dude, it, it's pretty cool, bro. Cool. But I'm a dude, Gwen Stacy if, guy, dude. If I like, uh, I'm just picturing Catwoman because yeah. they're the same thing. If I banged Catwoman, I and would she not was like, pull out. <laughs> <laughs> dude, so, <laughs> no, I'm, if she showed up and she's like, "I'm pregnant with your kid," I'd be like. Dude, do I have to like? Yeah, is she lying to me or do I join? I don't know. I'd be so afraid. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's just You're like behind yeah. her. Like, is it like another little cat burglar? You got like some behind you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, you burgle, so I'm gonna leave. <laughs> 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 deadbeat. <I'm- laughs> no, Spider-Man and Bat. Oh, Batman's a deadbeat. I'm- <laughs> <laughs> well, you can take care of the bitch. It's not mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Give me a DNA like, test. Tim Drake's like, Daddy? <laughs> or Dad. Damian Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dad, Daddy. Get off me. <laughs> yeah, don't touch. <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's crazy. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, all right, so I, you, I've always been a Gwen Stacy. Yeah, yeah, you're a Gwen Stacy yeah. guy, but shipping... Do you ship, like, Miles and Gwen and then Peter and Mary, I guess? Or... Ah, dude, I... I 
can't stand Mary Jane. There, there are very few oh, huh. instances of Mary Jane where right. I'm like, yo. I feel like yeah. when those instances you're talking about, I'm just bullshitting. Yeah. But like, it's like you like her for a bit and then she does like one dumb thing and it's like, all right, I don't like her it, anymore. 100%. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. Like uh, uh, the, the PS4 version, uh, Insomniac version, perfect. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yep. Like I, I love it when the character that is there and same thing with the Tom Holland movies with that at well MJ technically um, it, she's there to help she's not there to be a hindrance and in the as we'll talk about in the Raimi trilogy that Mary Jane is nothing but a hindrance the <laughs> entire time yeah every time that she shows up it's why didn't why weren't you there why didn't you do this for me why where were you you know all this stuff it's just like I don't, I don't need that yeah you know? yeah I don't need that um, and like I would say honestly, I mean, uh, I I really like all the Gwen Stacy stuff. I think it sucks yeah. that she like dies. Her like, design is pretty cool. Or... Spar Gwen, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Her, her design's really good. Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. There, there are just certain instances like Raimi trilogy, bad example. Yep. PS4 example, perfect. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 The PS4 Mary Jane's pretty cool. I mean, the stealth segments, a lot of people hate, but I never really had an issue too much with them. No. Yeah. And, and yeah. I'm just thinking from like character personality wise, yep. like, uh, you know, they're not like together together, but she's like still doing this stuff because she's like a reporter. And yep. It's just a part of her job. And I, I just found that stuff kind of interesting. So yeah. Yeah. And they had to like team elements. up, even though they, she didn't like Peter that much. <laughs> yeah, that. exactly. Yeah, yep. Exactly. It's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. I think, yeah, I, I wish like Tom Holland Spider-Man met like Felicia or someone like that. That'd be cool. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like we need to see more universe like just like batman get away from joker get away from mj yep, or yep. whatever like i yep. i don't need to see that for like the millionth time or whatever mm -hmm. which is why i was glad that the, the tom allen ones didn't like really focus yeah on that as much it wasn't like a forefront factor yep um but yeah i i would assume that uh felicia's never really wait a minute has she been in like, any of the movies i don't, I don't think she's been so. in any of no yeah so that's why oh she's wait cool. no she, she is in the raimi ones but it's like a oh. she's not felicia yet Okay. It's um Dang. it's uh, J. Jonah Jameson's secretary. Really? Yeah, yeah. Dang, that's cool. I forgot about that reveal. Yeah. Wow. And another Wait, so fun... it's a reveal where like she like throws like she opens her PC, it's a black cat, and that's it. <laughs> <basically>. <laughs> it's just like something really <laughs> obvious. Yeah. There's actually a folder on her desktop that says I am black cat. <laughs> Felicia. <laughs> no, I, I, I think it's her name tag on her desk is like Felicia H. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, that'd be funny. <laughs> Dang, yeah. There's actually uh, an even funnier reveal because Spider Man 4, uh, mm. before that one was inevitably canceled and they went with the reboot instead. Oh, yeah. That one was originally going to be Mysterio. Um, oh, yeah. And yeah, they were on Mysterio for a while because Amazing Spider Man 2 ended with Mysterio, I think, too. Or I swear. Amazing Spider Man 2? Yeah, yeah. Amazing Spider Man 2. My bad. I thought that. You're talking about the one with like Rhino in the end, with like the little kid wearing the mask. I swear, there's an after credit scene where oh oh oh, you're talking and... about you're, they're like walking by all the artifacts, and then like the, there's like there's like vulture wings, and there's like because that no, that's yeah. Mysterio. I think I actually know. Isn't there someone that just teleports in a prison cell, and then it's like, yo, it's Mysterio. There's like theories online. <laughs> I. <laughs> You know, uh, <laughs> well, yeah. here, I'll yeah, put a note to, like, look at it yeah, when we look yeah. at Amazing I'll, Spider-Man. I'll, I'll pull that up if, if that's the case. Yeah. I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> Guys, tune into the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man cast. To, to, we'll to discuss find that. out. Yep. <laughs> what were you saying? Uh, I was saying that I think they just used Mysterio a lot. Oh, yeah. They, were, true, they true. wanted to, like, then they finally did him in Far From Home. Yeah. Yep. Well, uh, Bruce Campbell, who is a good friend of Sam Raimi, Mm. Uh, is in every single Raimi Spider-Man movie. Okay. And uh, the one that you might remember him from is yeah. in Spider-Man 2. Uh, Mary Jane's doing like a musical opera or whatever. Okay. And Peter Parker's late to it. And he come and he like runs up. And he's like, oh, I, I, I'm here. And then uh, the guy played by Bruce Campbell is at the door. He's like, mm -mm -mm -mm. be quiet. Uh, <laughs> Dang. That guy was going to be Mysterio. Dang. Like, <laughs> very random. Yeah. Like, like, remember the guy at the door? That guy is wow. Mysterio. I'm like, all right, that's fun. <laughs> okay, yeah, <laughs> that guy is Mysterio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, um, okay, what else should we talk about? Do you have any, like, prompts? Uh, did, did you have, a, uh, aside from the PS4 game, did you play any other games? 
Uh, I played Ultimate Spider-Man for the DS. Oh, yo. Wait, <laughs> I think I recall that. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. I played that game so much, I found, like, all the glitches. It was crazy. <laughs> like, if I web shoot up, like, this was before internet. I would, like, web shoot up in a door frame. It would launch you to the top of the map. And you could, like, swing past the map. It was crazy. Dude, um, yo. Yeah, and then Carnage was showing up in it. And that's where I had this weird mind block where I'm like, Peter Parker is Carnage. Because... They inject <laughs> Peter Parker with Carnage juice. Yeah, and he yeah. plays Venom. You have to knock him out and get rid of Carnage of him. Oh. So then I was like, yeah. I, for the longest time, I <laughs> thought I was like that. <laughs> but yeah, basically, um, uh, it was Ultimate Spider-Man. And the whole story was you play as Venom and you play as Spider-Man. Yeah. And you use like the tendril for Venom. I hated playing as Venom. <laughs> uh, this is a DS game, you know, something that yeah, fun. You, you gotta have all the, the drawing yeah. and yep. what sort of wacky activities will you do yeah. with him? <laughs> and Spider Man was like way more cool because the combat was cool. Yeah. But I remember yeah, yeah. Um, there's a scene that my dad like didn't approve of. <laughs> really? Yeah, like he was, he had to like, we, he, I think parent proofed it. Yeah. And then like there's a scene where Venom, no. He's like, dad was like, yeah, that guy just ate a dude. And it's Eddie Brock with <laughs> Venom, like, <laughs> like it's activating. <laughs> Jacob, I do not mean to freak you out, but let's just say that goopy guy just ate a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Parent proof. So, like, did he watch it while you played it, or, or was it like, oh, he just like watched? I think he this. he would play it before we touched it. Let's Friend, go. Eddie Brock. Was the audio Eddie's this dad bad? My dad oh yeah, hundred percent. They worked on this suit that they thought would be the cure to cancer. Wow, I my yeah dad signed yeah. The wrong paper Do you wrong remember person. like all of this? Yeah, right I, I played this game a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna look for. Oh, dude, this scene was bad. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oh, this is the scene Dad saw. This is the one. Yo. Okay. If you could call this alive. <laughs> Yeah. So Dad was like, that's fine. <laughs> no, Dad, Dad! He's transforming father. Oh, this this game slapped. Uh, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, now let's see if we can find the Carnage Spider-Man. What was that? What oh, there's a prison. What? Oh my what gosh, with Electro. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that's, oh yeah, there that's, we go. Yep. Yo! Yikes! Oh, he's kind of gold oh too. God. I know you, Parker. Dang, this game's kind of hype. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, remaster coming when for the DS version? Yeah. Yo, he ate that bitch up. Okay, man. so let's go here. This one. Uh, you you play as Carnage, Spider-Man, and Venom. Yeah. I think we're gonna see Spider-Man get injected. I gotta hurry. If I don't get the trash, I don't know what Eddie's doing. <laughs> gotta pull my pants up. Oh yeah, this one free. All right, this this gave me nightmares. This is the last costume. Okay, okay. Did you ever wear a Venom suit yourself? What is this? Did you? Oh, wear dude, yo. <laughs> yo, nice. dude, I love that early two thousand CGI look to it. Though. <laughs> it it does kind of look like a comic book. Kind of. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah. It's amazing you survived any encounter with Eddie Brock. It's amazing. The Great microscopic suit. suit particles in you want to join with the suit Brock wears. Fascinating. Bro, if a doctor was looking Let's at me like that, I'd be help. out of there, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Ooh. <laughs> no, no, no. I want you to know. Bro, you're injected with this genius. strange symbiote. Ah. Ten oh, years ago. Ah. <laughs> no! Alright, that, that freaks me out. I remember. Dude, as, as a, a parent, I'd be like, oh no, this scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's got me freaked out. And the fact that he's <laughs> evil, you know? Right, right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> wow. So, anyway, guys, that was. <laughs> Yo, all the guys, all, uh, Ultimate Spider for the DS. Let's, let's give it up. All right, <laughs> pretty badass. How Eddie? All right, let's watch a comment. Uh, yeah, favorite yeah. scene. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is mine. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah. And uh, you can't have him. We may have lost Eddie Brock, but we've still got Peter Parker. I love how the accent kind of like goes in and out there too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Dang. We've yeah, that's lost crazy. Eddie Brock. <laughs> we, we've lost Eddie. We've lost Eddie Brock. We need to get him. Dude, like, we, need, oh. we need to get him. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yep. dude. Yeah, my first game actually mm. was also on the DS. Yo, okay. Bro, can you please pull up 
Spider-Man 3. Okay. Bro, I'm telling you, man. I was obsessed with Spider-Man 3. The first thing showed up was Spider-Man 3 DS black suit theme. Oh, all right. Cool. <laughs> well, I mean, like... <laughs> like uh, I, I remember really liking this one because it was... Like, dude, I, I sped run. I speed, oh, this is... Okay, yeah. Spode run? I sped run this game. Yeah, yes, sped run? Yeah. yeah, that sounds right. I sped run this... Bro, immediately I'm getting nostalgia vibes. <laughs> From the music? Play that top one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm playing music, guys. Here we go. Yeah, like, dude, this first section. Sorry. Oh my gosh, dude! The nostalgia <laughs> vibes immediately. Wait, is this supposed to look like this? <laughs> it is. It is. Well, yeah, this is like an emulator. Emulator, yeah. yeah. But DSM. yo, right, we have uh, our boy yeah. Timothy. Are you with watching cutscenes or do you want to see gameplay? Uh, yeah, uh, gameplay, whatever. Yeah. Okay, yeah. this is I think the best thing we have. Yeah. Pull up this, and also I'm gonna shorten my box. Wait, oop. Hey yo. There we go. I'm gonna shorten. But dude, I remember being Oops. stuck on this for so long because there were so many hard sections where it's like, because the whole game is like 2.5D your friendly where you're like zipping Spider-Man. around the whole city. Yeah. And lately, things have been going my way. Dang. Also voiced by Tobey Maguire, by the way. New York finally likes me. Yo. I mean, that model does look like her. It does. It, 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 it does kind of look like her. Daily Bugle. Really it's just really fried movie. photos from the movie. Harry, <laughs> my best friend won't talk to me. Ooh. One weird thing, there haven't been any big super villains oh, around since Doc Ock. Yo. Oh, no. And also, you know, a crazy I thing this, with, yeah. uh, with the Raimi movie games, Bad they always added in like random villains that like weren't in the movie. Okay. So in Spider-Man 3, no matter what version you play, Lizard is in the game, Dang. not in the movie. Spider-Man yeah. 2, Mysterio's in the game, not in the movie. Wow. I forget That's who cool. it was in Spider-Man 1. Yeah. It might have been Shocker. Do you remember any specific moments? Uh, just give like a random there, one. Yeah, bam. I remember that right there. Exactly. Yeah. You get all the bombs and stuff. Yeah, like half of this game, it was just, there's bombs in the city. Go get the bombs. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, no, this is after you fight Harry. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of, like, flying battles to it. It has to be. Yeah. I think black suit seems interesting. Oh, dude, yeah, and that sound Can't for when you skip that. Let him get away. Okay, yep. Beautiful. Murderer. Whoa. Yeah, this scene always freaked me Imagine out. you could read that. <laughs> dude, yo. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's nightmare fuel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Dude, and this is when you first get to play as the symbiote suit. No. Yeah. And this game, I remember doing it perfectly. Uh, yeah, because like the first time that you play as him, your stats are like times a hundred. Yo, and it's like, oh, a, a guy that would normally take like twenty blocks and twenty punches is like one hit kill, one hit kill. Like holy crap! Okay, yeah, blowing my twelve-year-old brain's mind. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we have the cursed lizard. That freaked me out. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, <laughs> like, bro, that. That's creepy Man, as hell. Is <laughs> Tobey Maguire's performance good? Do you remember? I mean, it's very, very well, like, uh, yeah, I was Spider-Man. What's he up to? What's he doing over there? Can't <laughs> <laughs> oh, have him praying in this version. Sound waves like. are affecting the suit. Yeah, like, I remember like a, a lot more tearing. Yeah. A <laughs> symbiote coming out with this shirt tear. <laughs> like in the movie, it's like, oh! Yeah, the yeah. He's like, Rrr! This one's like, ah, oh, man, it looks like it's coming off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, we have the big final fight here. This is a really hard Harry. fight because you'll yeah. fight Venom and Salmon at the same time. I'll take care of Salmon, Peter. You deal with that. Is that Harry? Thing. Yeah, that is Harry right there. Look at that Venom design. Is that a just, uh, Wait, let's see if that Discord call was us or. Oh, yeah, it might have. You deal with that other thing. No, that was in the, the video. That was clearly oh. the video. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, really couldn't, I'm not recording this a second time. Guys, uh, we need to redo this. Redo this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Spider-Man, uh, Friend or Foe. What was oh, the next game? Dude. Yeah, Friend or Foe was another one that I played on the DS. This one, I yep. only saw trailers for it. I thought this was the most hypest dude, thing yeah, ever. The, the beginning CGI cutscene, like I can say word for word. I, yeah. wa- I rewatched this so often. This was like high tech at the time. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. A peaceful, dull evening. And then, then boom! Like, and yo. Show up. I remember seeing a trailer for this, and I was like, My oh, what? was so bad. <laughs> yeah. The Green Goblin. The Green Goblin. It's like a family reunion. If 
my family were comprised of. Luna Day! Dude, yeah, the nostalgia vibes. So you never played this one, dude? No, I didn't, no. Dude, I didn't you play it are much. not yeah. missing much. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I played, one time I went to a friend's house, and we yeah. played this new Spider-Man game. I think it's PS2. Yes, and it involved okay. going to the park and taking pictures of lizards or something. You had, like, that you, sounds like Spider-Man 3. Uh, it's okay. You like yeah, there's yeah. a lizard. You had to take pictures of in the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the park, there's, yeah. there's like a whole bunch of them, and they're like, but you find out like, oh, they're going into the sewer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. So I played, but, but that was like the PS2 version. I played the GameCube version like years later. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah yep. Yeah. So that that was it, dude. Yo. S oh no. Save me, no. No. I thought doesn't Harry Osborn show up in this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then you got these like never seen these guys again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm remembering. I did play another Spider-Man DS game. I think. But yeah. Yeah. No, what happened to my good friends? Oh, and Nick Fury is also white in this game. No. <laughs> That's, oh, wasn't he L in the comic? Uh, white in the comics too. He was. Yeah. So, so this was uh, gave me a reminder when yeah. I played the. Um, Played the Wii version like years later. I was yep. like, oh, they, they swapped that around later. Yeah. Dude, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, I can't picture him not black. He's like iconic. No, yeah, I mean, exactly, yeah. exactly. Maybe the actor's just that good. I forgot his name at the moment. Yeah, I always think it's like a different character. Like, who's this character? Samuel Jackson, that's it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Spider Man. Uh, yep. 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 Uh, so now, Grant, what is your favorite Spidey suit, if you had to say? My favorite Spidey suit, probably. Dude, I'm going to go for. I'm going to be a bit of a rebel here. I'm going to okay. say the second Amazing Spider-Man suit. Dang. The second movie. Really? Not the first one. Not the yeah. green eye one. I don't like that one. That's like my least favorite one. Yeah. But the second one, I think, did it perfectly. Uh, I, I know a lot of people like hate the moving eyes for the um, for the mm. Tom Holland ones. I don't, I don't care about that. That's perfectly fine to me. Yeah. But there's something about this suit. It's just like perfect. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This one's cool. It's just, just something about like like how white and large the eyes are and like the back just mm. yeah <laughs> for electro <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, on the other hand for electro I, I do not like that <laughs> yeah no this part in, it slaps yeah yeah, yeah. I guess, how about you? what is your favorite one uh, it's probably generic I think it's either Spider Man twenty ninety nine okay no or that's fair. I need to look at all the spider suits in the PS4 game. Does Wait, that do, count? Do future foundation suit. Okay. This one's probably my next favorite one. And let's just say it's pretty impressive. Oh, yo. This hey, one's yo. sick, dude. Yeah. I use this one a bit in the game. I yeah. think it's in the game. I just remember a white one. But yep, yep. There's there also the Fantastic Four one. Uh, the Bombastic <laughs> yep. Bag Man. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Stealth suits also pretty good, but yeah, just Spider-Man PS4 suits. The PS5 one apparently has like a freaking million. Oh, I forgot they had that like um, Ultimate Spider-Man cell shaded suit in the PS4 one. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, the anime one is the worst one. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. I don't like. I don't <laughs> care for that one. Do you use the Spider Verse suit at all? Uh, not yet. I don't think. All right, so we got. Oh yeah, Arachnid Rider, worst one. Yep, yep. This one I love because that it's like the base cool one. one, but they added armor. I would use yeah. this one a lot. I use this one a lot. That one's cool. That one's cool. Fan suit, uh, classic suit. Yeah, pretty dark. Standard. Not big on the dark suit. Not big on that. Yeah, one nah. Fear itself. I've never seen that one. <laughs> yeah, I, Homemade. I like the lighting on it, but meh. It's kind of funny how derpy it is. Iron yeah. Spider. Yep. Yeah. Uh, last stand. That one I actually used a bunch. I just really? like the vibe of the jacket. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. a vibe. MK2 armor. This one's cool. Yep, I like the smaller eyes. Dang, MK3. I have an action figure for that one. Dang. Yeah. Wow. MK4. Wow, there's a lot of MK. Yeah. Negative. Always a cool one. Noir. Secret yeah. War Black. Oh, Secret yeah. War. Uh, Scarlet Spider. This one's funny. And the, <laughs> it's <laughs> Dude, a... Yeah, yeah. 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 Spider Punk, honestly, yeah, L. I like. I can see Spider Verse. Dude. I'm like, hey, bro. Yeah, like, like what, what is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Spear Spider is weird, dude. I remember. I forget how you get that one, but I remember that one being hard to. Dang. Yeah. Stark suit. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. That spider design is. I don't know. Yeah, like, like I like it overall, but it definitely goes for more of like an Apple simplistic design. Yeah, sort of yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's yep. okay. Stealth, big time. Yeah, it's hype. Yep, yep. Wrestler. Oh, yep. It's a classic. Classic. Like, classic. Yep. Yeah. 
<laughs> Velocity, vintage. Yo, vintage one's cool. Twenty ninety nine. Yep, this go. one's lit. Yep, yep. Uh, this one, twenty ninety nine white yes. is my favorite. Which we actually do see in the new movie being made in the background of a shot. Really? Yep. Yep. Yo, wait, undies. Yeah, Yo, undies. That. <laughs> that is like the final suit that you unlock. By the way, if you take, Dang. if you do the thing where it's like take a picture of every landscape, that's what you get. Dang. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fun to lock the armor in the second one. Oh, dude, for sure. Anti arc. All right, and then yep. it's the spoilers for me. Uh, yep, yep. Yeah, I was going to scroll through That's Spider-Man Britain suit. I, I can't stand that one. This one? No, no, go up one. No, go, go up one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, yeah. I hate that so much. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the, the freaking uh, bag man? I, oh. Should be there somewhere. Future yeah, oh, there, there you go. Is, there yep, is, yeah. right there. <laughs> Iconic. Yo. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I, I forgot they, they still threw suits in there. Like, when No Way Home came out, they were like, yeah, here's yeah, the yeah. suit from that. I, I, I was like, this is a suit from the game when I was watching it last <laughs> yeah, night. Dude, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. Spider-Man suits is pretty good. I think, really, you just need, um, uh, you need, like, the under, the design. I, I'm not a designist. Let me yeah. pull Spider-Man again. Yeah, yeah. Spidey suit. Give me the best Spidey suit you got. All right, that's my analysis, guys. All right, I think it's essential to always have the spider on the chest, right? Yep. And you want the red and blue or two different colors like that. You want, like, white or black, you know, whatever. Exactly. Yep. I, I feel like the red, the blue, and the white need to be very distinctive. Yep, yep. Uh, like, like I, don't, I don't need a bunch of, like, pads or different. Like, I'm not a huge fan of when it does, like, the, the red and black suit. Like, that's fine, but when, yeah. it, when it's blue, it's just it pops a lot more. Yep. Yeah, like, see, here's what I'm saying. Like, this isn't blue, but it's black. And it, like, yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I guess you really just need red uh, to be a good spotty suit. Good. Exactly. And they, yeah, that's a perfect comparison right there. Like, the second one, I just, I love the eyes on that one. Yeah, yeah. It's just and, so, yeah. so wide. That third one sucks. This yeah. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just, there's just too much going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, I guess the webs, yeah, this, the second one is. It's good. Yeah. 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 But anyway, that's enough suit analysis, guys. Enough. <laughs> enough. Yeah. Other no. than that, the only other games yeah. that I played was I played uh, Shattered Dimensions, Edge of Time. Um, yeah. And that's it. Just just those ones. Oh, yeah. Edge of Time. Uh, I remember being pretty good. That was the first time that I ever came across Spider-Man 2099 because that game was kind of cool because uh, you go from you play as present Spider-Man and then future Spider-Man uh, and certain things you do in the past affect the future. Like... It's just simple things yeah, like, yeah. oh, if I open this door in the past, it will, uh, it's, it's permanently locked in the future, but it will it will actually open because I did in the past. Yeah, you know, just like little things. Yeah, like yeah, that. fun so, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I, I really like those. But, uh, yeah, that's about it for games. Yeah, yeah nice. Uh, okay, so uh, comics. Do you, uh, do you have any favorite Spider-Man comic runs? Dude, Ultimate Spider-Man is the way to go. That Hell is yeah. peak Spider-Man. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um... Ultimate Spider-Man. I see. I'm always confused with the Ultimate series. So like they yeah. went like every Marvel character has an Ultimate series. Yeah. So Ultimate is just absolutely everywhere. So yeah. Uh, in the early 2000s, Oops. there was the uh, well, there there was the TV show that came out. There was the game. And there's the comics. Yep. None in which have to do anything with each other. Yep. Like if if you like if you're like whoa these comics were so good. Oh, I'm going to watch a TV show now. You'll be very lost. <laughs> like, it, okay. there's nothing to do with it. Yeah. Um, aside from sorry. a few similarities, like, for example, the Green Goblin, one of the things that I'm actually not a fan of in Ultimate Spider-Man um, is the Green Goblin version because he's like, uh, they basically just made him Hulk uh, instead of being like a genius scientist like that went crazy on like a... Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, he's just like this big hulking like maniac. And, like, kept all of his, like, snarkiness okay. to him. So, like, literally the Spider-Verse Green Goblin version. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, exactly yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> but not as good. No, but, not, yeah, not, yeah. not as good in my opinion. Yep. Uh, yeah, there's a few other differences. Like, Doc Ock um, is, like, he's still, a, he's still Doc Ock, but he's, like, a sneezy little diseased mole. Like a mole man. Wow. Like, look up Ultimate Spider-Man Doc Ock. It, it'll be the first thing that pops up. Um. Uh, yeah, that one right there. That, that, that's a perfect one. Yeah, it's basically like that. Where he's always like greasy looking, and he's like, he's basically like in a Perfect. bubble. <laughs> like, he's, yeah, he starts off being the normal one, but then all of a sudden he becomes this like gross, like weird thing. It's not terrible. I'm just never. I've never yeah, no, he yeah. needs a haircut for sure, <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah. Dang, I'm trying to find a good. However, 
Uh, yeah, comics. I actually never really read too much. You lent me the Spider-Man Lifeline. I always intend to go through that sometime. Dude, that one is so good. Guys, if you want a series to go through, uh, if you're like, I just want to know the start to end, a quick, easy read. It'll take you maybe an hour or so. Yeah. Uh, Lifeline is a perfect series. You have the 60s, the 70s, 80s, 90s. Each decade is like its own comic. Uh, and it goes over everything from him getting his powers to growing old, Miles Morales coming in. It's a bit really? of a, a different Miles take. shows up. Oh, my bad. Yeah. But in the, in this, because ver- obviously there's so many different versions. Yeah. In this version, it shows Spider-Man getting old, and Miles is actually more of like a, um, uh, Peter Parker's like a mentor. Oh, or, apprentice kind of. Uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. an apprentice sort of thing. Yep. Um, so there's like a big final mission. Um, and I don't want to. I don't, don't want to spoil how it ends because I definitely think you guys should watch it. But like the ending, the very it, final right? chapters, yeah, yeah, yeah uh, is so good. Bang. So good. Yeah, it, it's, interesting. It's yeah. yeah, interesting. Yeah. But uh, anyway, Grant, while yeah. you're talking, I move to the next thing. So no. I, as a kid, just remembered I watched this TV show that was on Netflix. Me and Justin would watch it on the computer. Like, we're like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> we binged yelp? as much as possible before we got busted and, like, told to do chores or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, this one was good. I think it ended with a cliffhanger. It and did. never it got to see, like, no follow-up. In I fact, think. actually, there, there's a... I have a beautiful follow-up to this. So, okay. uh, go, go so here's a trailer, this. guys. Yeah, this yeah. is a DVD trailer, so we'll see how that goes. It's going to be hard for me to remember this stuff. But. Something big. Something <laughs> big. Big. Something powerful. Dude, I actually never watched this series, but I watched the one after. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's one after? Uh, that'd be Ultimate Spider-Man. Which one we're going to get into. Spectacular Spider-Man. I'm trying to remember any of this, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. I remember that right there, I remember. Like the Peter Parker. Yeah. The, this is actually like... This. This is known this as, like, the, the best Spider-Man show. Never seen it before. The animation's not bad. Doing that theme song? Go ahead, try. If you're a Spidey fan, you I just remember him one dealing one with the symbiote. Does he deal with the symbiote? Yeah, okay, yeah. Some symbiote yep. stuff. Yep, yep. Has this Wait a minute, Peter Parker? for the company. Love to stay, but I've got a doctor's appointment. <laughs> as he battles the Yo. most no. super villains from the hit TV series. The TV series. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Octopus. The Green Goblin. Includes the action pack spectacular Spider Man. They showed like yeah. more of Shocker than any other film on <laughs> With his hit main villain, Shocker. <laughs> yeah. See, the song in the back is like, Dream on! Dream on! Yeah. I went to the movie theater and that was in a trailer again, and yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Bro, really? Now, dude, go in the search bar, uh, yeah. if you could please type in Ultimate Spider Man yep. Monkey Noises. So basically, Jacob, what yeah. happened was oh, yeah. you have uh, Spectacular you. Spider-Man. Uh, Disney then got the rights oh. to making a TV show. So they basically said, Spectacular Spider-Man, that's not going to work. Yeah. We're going to do our own thing with the hit actor Drake Bell. Uh, oh. So they canceled Spectac- Spectacular Spider-Man on a cliffhanger and then started producing Ultimate Spider-Man. Dang. Which is known for how not funny it is. <laughs> and Ultimate Spider-Man, is it... Um, I guess you're, we should play some clips here, too. Is yeah. it trying to do the comic, Ultimate Spider-Man? Yeah, so so you'll see... Oh, I mean, I don't know if it'll show it. Yeah, but yeah. all, like, that Doc Ock that I mentioned, the Green Goblin, that's Peter, all in here. Okay, so the like story the, and writing is good? What's up with no. That <laughs> okay, no, yeah, yeah. It, it's very basic. So there's, like, four different seasons. Um, the first season... Uh, is is very like buddy buddy where he teams up with White Tiger, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and Nova. Okay. So it's like a Spider Alliance sort of thing. Um, and then after like the second season, they completely ditch that and they're like, forget those characters. Now it's oh, the Tiger. Spider Crew. Yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. Um, so it, it was very. This one was Nova. very like TMNT. Yeah. Like okay. you watch this if you liked uh, like the 2012. Uh, TMNT, then like you would you would also watch this, and okay. I, I did watch yeah. quite a bit of it. Um, it I, I remember liking it as a kid, but like watching it like nowadays because yeah. there was one special. It was a Spider Verse special that came out that I never watched, and I watched it like maybe two years ago, uh, and I just remember like really not getting into because that monkey sound effect plays like every five seconds. Dang! Like if he surprises, if, if he jumps, it's. 
if, if someone hits him, it's ring. Okay, should we um, should we use that as like a sensor for YouTube? Yo, what the fuck? And then it's like ring. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dude, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that <Perfect. would> be so. <laughs> I always hate it when like you know like a YouTuber chooses like the wrong noise for the sensor. It like yeah. triggers me sometimes. So that'd be perfect. <laughs> Dude, hundred percent, hundred percent. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, all right, yeah. so. Uh, so yeah. there's Ultimate Spider-Man. That, that was what I, I mainly yeah. watched. And yep. um, it just kind of sucks because they were just like, cancel spectacular Spider-Man. That does suck. Rip. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, anything else? That's basically all the Spider-Man content I can remember. That is about all of the Spider-Man content. Obviously, there's um, the movies, which we'll discuss later. Yes. Yes. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I guess overall, where do you want to see the comics take Spider-Man? Where do you want to see the Tom Holland movies go? Just in general, yeah. uh, I really hope, because I, I know that they are coming out with a fourth Spider-Man film yep. for Tom Holland, but it is not going to be like uh, along the same lines. So, for example, the characters that were in the first three aren't going to play a big role in the next three. So it's going to be a lot of like different, a uh, bit of a different cast. Yep. So I really hope that they go super like core Spider Man. Yeah. Uh, like throw in Gwen Stacy, you know, throw in because like at, at, we see at the end of No Way Home, yeah, uh, the Venom symbiote is now in, still in that world, so we can have the symbiote suit and all Dude, that. I want Venom versus Spider Man, or Dude, so much. Yeah, yeah, they definitely debated that. They yeah. debated that for sure. Like, yeah, uh, I, yeah. I feel like the phone call was um uh, like. You know, Sony called Disney, and they were they were like, "Yeah, we can put Venom in the new Spider-Man movie." And they're like, "Yo, we're gonna they're gonna fight." Yeah. And then when they finally got to the studio, they're like, "All right, we recorded this scene in Venom too." Yeah. He, he shows up there. Yeah. They're like, "Yeah, uh, he can stay at the bar, right?" What? He, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. bro, let him fight. Come on. That'd be so cool. Yeah, it, yeah. it would have been really cool. But I, I'm assuming they'll do something with it where it'll be like he'll get the suit and. Yeah, and a different Eddie Brock will get the suit. That'd be it's interesting to see the black suit Spider-Man interpreted mm-hmm. mo- in a modern sense, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I mean, it hasn't been done since Raimi. You know, it, it, yeah, it wasn't yeah. ever brought up in um, uh, the Garfield yeah. series or anything like that. So, yep. Uh, and, I, yeah. Sorry yeah. to interrupt, but I feel like mm-hmm. there's always more than one villain, weirdly enough, in Spider-Man oh, everything. T- yeah, typically. So yeah. if you want Venom, who else would you want as like the side guy? Um... Honestly, I would love it if if Kingpin played a big Dang, role. Kingpin yeah. is um, it's usually either Daredevil or Spider Man. Yeah, yeah. And Kingpin has never played a role in a Spider Man movie. Mm. Always in the TV shows and in the games, but never yeah. in a movie. Yep. Uh, either and that or like Tombstone or, or a villain that we don't see as often. Oh yeah, Tombstone. Uh, I, yeah. I don't need a, a Green Goblin. I don't no. need another, another yeah, Sandman right. yet or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, Sandman would. I don't find Sandman interesting much anymore. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, he he's perfectly fine yeah. for like a side. Yeah, villain. He, he peaked on the elementary school bus when someone's like, "Yeah, you can't defeat him. He's sand." And I'm like, "Oh my god, how does Spider-Man <laughs> win?" And then like, wait, wait, wait a minute, <laughs> yeah. wait a minute. He peaked there and never <laughs> never went back after that. Like, dude, it's like yeah. I just flash war on when you win. Yep, yep. <laughs> like, literally, like, wait a minute, dude. When did One Piece Alabasta come come out? Oh wait, yeah. Who thought of the He's weakness first, dude? Crocodile is a way more intimidating Sandman than <laughs> Sandman true, for some true. reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I guess <laughs> Sandman needs a poison hook, guys. He Bro, needs poison. Could you wait, imagine Scorpion and Scorpion the after credits? <gasps> Holy Symbio <laughs> and Scorpion team. You right, gotta be like, kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that does happen. Oh really? I actually, oh, I literally wow, have a, cool. uh, a Venom figure that has a scorpion tail. Dude, dang. That is a thing. That, is that was thing. so weird that yeah. I will go over when they do. We, we can discuss the after credits, but the Scorpion Better Call Saul actor showing up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah just like, just kind of randomly there. Like, yeah, got like the best actor. And he's not even <laughs> doing like, anything. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Frick. Okay, so what what was the question again that I asked? Well, oh, where yeah. do you want to see Spider-Man go? For movies? All right, so you want to see the symbiote, and then yep. you also want to see, what's the second villain again? Uh, oh, Kingpin. Kingpin, yep. Tombstone, and, and, like minor villains. Yeah, once nothing, we haven't seen before, bad. really. Yeah. Yep, yeah. like a wizard would suck. Yeah, freaking wizard. I wouldn't hate yeah, a no. wizard. Um, so where do you want to see the comics going? Even though I think you read the, are caught up with the comics. Yeah, I, I'm caught up with all the the new comics. I, I think they yeah. suck. Um, <laughs> I I really just I, I don't know what I want from those. I yeah. just I want them to com- completely. And I know this is taboo for comics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I need a whole reboot. Everything. Mm. Cut a line at 2023. Yeah. Say all right. We're done with this. We're starting over. 
mm. something completely different, completely new. Yeah. J- just make something new. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, That's So, all. do you want to see, like, the same characters, but they're, like, Harry Osborn is, like, freaking Venom? You want no, to see I, that? Yeah, I, I want something like, yeah, well, something like that, where, yeah, where yeah. it's completely different. Uh, I see, But yeah. there's, like, little similarities here and there. Like, okay. Uh, like, yeah, have Gwen Stacy show up, have Lizard show up or yeah. whatever. Well, there's, like, little elements of something different. Like, I, I want to know that I am reading a completely different story. Yeah, so the you know, stories will predictable in the comics yeah Yeah. it's just so predictable already that it's gotten to the point where it's either predictable or it does something unpredictable and and no one likes it Mm -hmm. uh typically for good reason yeah um so when it comes to to the newer stuff just start over just erase what you got and just do something fresh yeah Do, do some new ideas uh, like uh, there's so many different spider people out there. There's so many different yeah. stories that you could go with. Just do something different. It doesn't always have to be the teenage Peter Parker. We already have a great teenage Peter Parker story that people can read easily. Yeah. Uh, do a different one. There, there, there's a freaking cowboy Spider-Man. I don't know. Make a comic about that. Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> there's like, you know, they'll make like little two issue specials. Yeah. But, uh, you're not expanding on it. Yeah, I think I saw that stuff. I think I saw spider orca the other day and then spider boy. Oh, yep, yep. And Spider Orca. Or, like, there was, like, a dude who looked like Orca. He's like, eh. There's Spider Boy, but I got better show the screen. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen Spider Boy. I actually have the introductory comic to that one. Oh, really? Yep, yep. I don't even know if it's Orca, but he was holding an anchor. Frick. <sighs> no, no, dude, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a ripped Spider Man yeah. where his teeth are showing. And he's like, eh. Oh. And he's really freaking ripped yeah yeah this is probably just some comic like they just drew him up yeah yeah. oh okay okay um anyway so yeah i agree i guess for uh the new tom holland movie i don't really know much about the comics but i agree with what you said that'd be kind of lit uh tom holland venom would be cool uh i guess yeah kingpin would be lit i'm trying to think of other spider-man villains that uh, I think they could go the more loon route. They could go that vampire family that just wants to like eat them. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, mm. <clears throat> Spider Man. I think. Uh, let's see, the <sighs> villain that would be perfect. Yep, is the chameleon, which Whoa. I have not seen show up since the uh, the Obama issue. That, uh, <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> which, have I shown you that before? When, no, no. When, when he got brought into office, he was like, "I want a Spider-Man comic," and so they made a, a Spider-Man comic oh. where he like uh, the chameleon like dressed up as Obama and like infiltrated the the White House. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> so, like, you're not the real Obama. <laughs> so Obama was like, you're "I want a Spider-Man comic." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Wow. Um, and if you have the original version of that comic, I think it's worth a lot, too. I have, like, a reprint of it. Dude, dang. But it's like, I'm, I'll be the president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> dang, it's like, yo. It's the most random thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so all Spider-Man villains. So I want Black Cat in it, like I said earlier. But yep, I want her to yep. be the secondary, like, oh, is she good or bad? Yeah, not, not a main one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I Maybe I honestly... Uh, Black Cat and Scorpion don't really hit, though. Um, I mean, you could also throw in, like, Craven the Hunter. That has not been in a movie, just in the game. That is true. What's Hobgoblin's deal? Wasn't he, like, Green Goblin? But just, I don't know. Uh, it, it's... <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, you do not want to ask that question. The whole... <laughs> the, okay. Bro, the whole thing with Hobgoblin is it's, yeah. like... There was a whole lawsuit. They were like, we don't want to make Hobgoblin. Oh my they were like, we're going to sue you for $60 million if you don't put out Hobgoblin. Because we already have a fucking toy line. And if Hobgoblin doesn't appear in the next in the next thing, they're like, we don't know who the Hobgoblin is. And they were like, we'll make up who the Hobgoblin is. So they were like, the Hobgoblin is Harry Osborn. And they were like, not good enough. And, and then 20 issues later, they were like, Harry Osborn was under, uh, he was under amnesia. Actually, it's this guy. Whoa. It's just like a random guy. And, the, and then to another 20 issues later, they were, they rebooted it. And they were like, no, it was actually this guy over here. Wow. Um, yeah, dude. It's like That's a the whole, worst thing ever. Dude, yeah. I'll send you, uh, like, there's like a whole yeah. two hour long video on like Hobgoblin, like the worst idea. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's like this whole thing. He's a fine character, actually. Yeah. But it's just so funny because there's this whole thing with like, there's a clone of Peter Parker. And there's a clone of Mary Jane. Um, the Peter Parker that we think is the real Peter Parker 
we find out two years, like two real years later, that actually wasn't the real Peter Parker. That was actually um, uh, Ben Riley, uh, Scarlet Spider. Oh. It turns out the real Peter Parker actually thought he was Ben Riley, but he's not. He wasn't Ben Riley. He was the real Peter Parker. Oh my god! But he thought because he had the same memories as Ben Riley. It's like a whole thing, dude. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 The craziest history, dude. Yeah, dude. Dang. So anyway, for the movies, all right. I want Black Cat, and then she turns into a good guy or something. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. And then Rhino and Kingpin will be lit. I think because Kingpin be is awesome. like brain and muscle, you know, and Kingpin can be muscle too. But yep. Yeah. I think Rhino is best used as like. Uh, he's like a threat in a fight, but like he's not smart. Is he smart? I don't even know. No, he's just a businessman. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> okay. not. He's not really like I have this brilliant technology. He, he's the one who would like hire a million scientists or whatever. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, but we hit our hour mark, Grant. Anything more to say about Spider Man? Nope, that is about it. But guys, check out our other Spider Man yeah. videos. Right. Um, Flip on by there. Right yeah. Over there. Yeah. Thwip on over to and the other guys. Videos. You better, you better click. God, please kill the vill- viewers <laughs> that do not click. Uh, geez. Ah, psh, ah, the suit's coming off. <laughs> <laughs> guys, yo, black uh, shirt. Symbio. Yo, oh, okay, guys. All right. Check um, us out the next videos. All right, all right. All right. Now we have to. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. You're fine again. Oh yeah. Oh man, where am I? I just got like I ran to that building by getting struck by lightning. And I'm in this out. Al- uh, Please. I'm looking through the window in the church. <laughs> but you, you have to be like, thank you, Father. <laughs> yeah. I succeeded. Thank you, Father. Huh? For light doing a lightning strike and striking down Peter Parker. Wait, Eddie so Brock. He's in, he's in the alley next Eddie to Brock me. Eddie Brock tried to assassinate me with God. Dear now, God, if please you could, kill if Eddie you Brock. Please. <laughs>